Hey everyone, welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the boss baby using simple step-by-step -step techniques. So stick around and let's get started. We're gonna get started by drawing the eyelids. Let's start on the left side and just draw a shallow curve from the outside of the eye curving up and over towards the inside. So start over here, curving up and then in. We're gonna leave a little gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. We're going to take the inside of the eyelids and just curl around for the frown line. Starting on the left, we'll just blend into a curl and then just pull that up and out. We'll do the same thing on the right. Curling in and then out. In between, we're just going to add a little curve for the center frown line. Curving down and then up. Now we're going to draw a curve for the lower part of the eye. So we're going to start on the left side. We curve down, it's almost like a half circle, down towards the bottom of the eye and then back up towards the top. We're going to do the same thing on the right side, starting from the inside. Now we're going to tuck in the large irises underneath the eyelid. Now we're going to shift these in towards the center a little bit so there'll be a little bit more white space on the outside. Starting on the left, we're going to step over and just draw like that half circle coming down, leaving a little bit of space and then back up towards the inside. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Now on the top left, we're going to draw a little small circle just underneath the eyelid for a little highlight. And then we're just going to trace the inside edge of this iris for the pupil. So just underneath the highlight, we're just going to trace around and then back up. We're going to fill the pupil in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to start on the left with a little highlight circle. And at the bottom of the circle, we're going to draw in the outside edge of the pupil. And we'll fill that in black. Now just above the eyes, we're going to draw the little fold of the upper brow area. So on the left side, we're gonna step up and just curve down and then out. Curving around and then down over the eye. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side, but this one we're gonna pull up a little bit higher. So right in here, we're gonna curve it up and then pull it out. Now we're gonna step up above these little folds and just draw that same curve for the eyebrow. Starting from the outside, curve around, down, and then just pull it up at the end. And leave a little space on the inside. So we're gonna do the same thing on the right. Curving down, up, and then out. Just in between the eyes, we're gonna step down a little and draw an oval for the nose. Starting from the top, go around to the sides, and then back up towards the top. Below the nose, we're gonna add in the mouth. So we're gonna shift the mouth over towards the left. So we start with a little curve from left to right, curving down towards the right. On the right side, we're just going to curl this back up. On the left side, we're going to do a little hook going upwards. Now we're going to hook again going out towards the left. Just above the mouth, we're going to add another little curve that goes up for the upper lip. We go up and then pull that back down. On the bottom, we're going to draw a smaller one. So stepping in, draw a tiny little curve. And then below the lip, we're going to draw a little curve going in the opposite direction for the chin. Now that we got the face, let's draw on the outside of the head. So on the left side of the eye, we're gonna step over, start over here in the temple, we're gonna curve out, and then down towards the chin, right about here. So starting just beside the eyelid on the left, bump it out, and we'll curve it in towards the chin in the middle. Now we're gonna go back up on the right side. So going out, and start to curve it up, just beside the right eyebrow. Now he's got a huge head, so we're going to draw a big curve that goes up to the top of the head, right about here. So we start on the left side, we're going to bump this out again, curving out, and then start to pull it in towards the top of the head. I'm going to locate the top of the head right about here. Continue that curve, and I'm going to pull this around towards the right side.
up at the top we're gonna add a little hairline. So he's got this little swirl along this way. So we're gonna start at the tip, right here, just above the right eye. Start with a point. From here we're gonna curve up towards the left and then round it out towards the side of the head. So going out, and as we get to the top, we're gonna to swirl it around. Now we're gonna curve it out towards the side of the head, just blending it towards the side and tapering it down. On this side, on the right, we're gonna swirl it towards the left first, and then just pull it back towards the right, just blending it to the side of the head on the right there. Let's add a few little hair strands. So in the tip, we curve around, then up. We're gonna add one more, going up towards the center, going upwards. We're gonna add one little one on the side here. So this curve, we're just gonna continue that curve going up. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. So just above this point, draw the top of the ear curving out and just pull it in towards the side of the head. We're gonna add a little curve in the inside for the inner ear. Starting on the side of the ear, we'll hook up and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. So from this point, we'll step up, curve the top of the ear, and we'll pull that back in. Right in this little point, we'll curve around and hook this back. Okay, so now we got the head. Let's work our way down the body. We're gonna have the arms sort of folded in front with the thumbs pointing upwards. So starting down here, we're gonna have to layer in the hands first. From the middle, we're gonna curve up and out towards the left. Going back towards the bottom, we're gonna curve up and out towards the right. Now this is the tip of the finger, so we're just gonna curl around towards the left, going up and then just hooking it back towards the left. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving down the finger, going up and then out. Right at the tip here at this line, we're gonna step back, curve out, and then we'll hook this back down. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So stepping in, we'll hook up, and then pull this back down. Now we want to fold the fingers in behind here. So we're just gonna draw a series of little waves that go across like this. So on the side of the right finger, we're gonna curve out, curve the tip of the finger, and go back towards the left. We're gonna do the opposite now. We're gonna curve around the finger, and go back over towards the right. We'll draw one more finger on the right side, curving around, and back over towards the left. Now we're gonna curl this finger again, coming back over towards the right. Now this is gonna go all the way up and meet the edge of that thumb. So curving around the wrist and up towards the thumb. On this side, we're just gonna curve in and just tuck this in behind the tip of the finger. Curving out and then just pulling that back in. Now from here, we wanna draw the top of the arms. So right beside the thumb, right here, we're gonna curve up and out towards the left. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving up and out towards the right. We want to add a little wrinkle here. So about halfway along this curve, go up and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Now up here, just in that same fold area, we curve up the inner part of the arm. So these curves are going outwards, so kind of curving out this way. Now we're gonna draw on the inside edge of the jacket. So right where the thumb meets the arm, we're gonna curve up and then out. Same thing on the right side, just tucking that in underneath the head. We're gonna add the collar. So we're gonna leave a gap in the center on the left side, just angle down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now about halfway along this line, we're gonna angle two lines coming in towards the middle, leaving a little gap. We're gonna close that gap with a straight line. Now these two bottom corners, I'm just gonna angle out behind the thumbs for the edge of the tie. Now let's go ahead and draw on the outside part of the arm. So we don't want to leave a little space on the side here. So underneath the head, we're going to curve this out and then down to right about here. From this point, we're going to curve underneath the hand. So we're going to go down and just tuck this in underneath the hand. We're going to trace that little wrist line on the inside, just for the cuff, going all the way around. We'll do the same thing on the right. So leaving a little bit of space right here, we're going to curve out, pull that down, and curve the bottom part of the arm down, up towards the elbow. We'll add that little trim for the cuff of the sleeve. Now we're gonna go in and just add the tabletop and the seat rest in behind the body. So we're gonna start from the elbows, we're gonna step up and draw a line going outwards, towards the left and then towards the right. We're gonna curve out on the sides. And then from here, we're just gonna angle slightly in and down with a straight line. We're gonna connect those two points with a curve that comes down the middle. Starting on the left. Now we're gonna 
step up on these points, we're gonna do the same curve, just following the same curve along the top. Going all the way across towards the right. I wanna add a little bit of a dip on the inside of the table. So I'm gonna start beside the arm here and just trace the inside part of that outer edge. And we're just gonna carry this all the way down towards the front, just let it taper out like that. And the same thing on the right side, going out and then curving alongside and just tapering it out to right there. The final part, we're gonna add the seat rest in the back. So we start above the ears and draw a curve that goes out and then in towards that corner. Curve it out and then just pull it in towards that corner. We'll do the same thing on the right. So just above the ear, we'll curve it out and then pull that in towards that corner. We're gonna add a little stitch line on the inside. So just behind the ear, we're gonna follow that same curve all the way down in behind the table. We'll do the same thing on the right. Going out, and then in, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Boss Baby. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.